so after reducing this certain degree of hip flexion or extend uh, in certain degree of uh, limb this hip is getting dislocated okay component stability is good component versions are very good but this hip is getting dislocated okay so you see well well placed cup well placed stem of uh, uh, in a sense uh, version is right okay so the only thing what you can answer in this is your offset okay it may appear subtle but this is the one which is going to give you instability okay so that's very important stability is the one thing which we which the offsets provide ultimately it is a stability only which the offset is going to help okay similar case this is the one more case again okay so you 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 are done a well placed thr well placed cup everything but still the hip is sometimes the hip gets dislocated because of offset so this is very important okay offset is very important apart from one thing uh, how do you decide a, a offset how do you uh, do a offset for horizontal offset we take it from the center of the hip center of the head of the hip joint to center of the greater trochanter this forms your horizontal offset and this forms from the center to the superior part of your neck is forms your vertical offset okay these two are very important offsets okay in respect to th the rest femoral offset lateral offset we we we'll keep it aside we we take it for a, a complex cases Um, which we are which are not dealing now okay we are, we are just trying to build the basic concept of horizontal offset and vertical offset okay so i can draw this horizontal offset vertical offset only if i take a true ap view okay if i don't take a true ap view so what happens imagine in this case okay what is happening here what 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 is the offset we are thinking of generally generally if you see this x ray the vertical offset is usually more than horizontal offset it is about 10 mm more around 10 mm okay J considering an average individual height of 6 feet okay it's about 10 mm any condition which alters this will lead to a problem for you okay now the question is how to identify this problem okay so what happens this case you see what is happening here hip hip center is here greater trochanter is here lesser trochanter is here okay if i roughly draw this image this is of this length and this is of this okay what is happening here what is the, how is the relationship horizontal offset and vertical offset any difference you find it here compared to the previous case here the horizontal offset is more than the vertical offset yes dr rakesh it is completely opposite it is more than the vertical offset while doing thr for this particular case this is let us call it scenario 1 scenario 2 the first scenario is horizontal offset is than vertical offset in both the conditions you cannot do the same steps the same neck cut and placement of the component same okay both the things are totally different and you need different steps to be done right so understanding this offset is very important okay for this we need to understand how we take a excess similarly there is one more condition okay in this in this scenario see what is happening here this is your hip center and this is your uh, your what we call center of the head and this is your lesser trochanter now see this offset horizontal offset is much much lesser than vertical offset let us call this case scenario 3 okay so first was horizontal offset smaller than vertical offset second scenario horizontal offset more than vertical offset and third scenario is horizontal offset much 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 smaller than vertical offset okay so this becomes again a problem all the three conditions 
you have to balance the hip. I cannot go with the standard neck cut in this scenario. I have to change the neck cuts. Okay, because the length is different. Okay, so before understanding, see this example. Okay, how is the how is the offset here in this case? Anyone? Which scenario it is? Out of one, two, three. Horizontal offset smaller than vertical offset. Second one is horizontal offset more than vertical offset. Horizontal offset is much lesser than vertical offset. Which are the three scenarios in this? It is here. Hip center is here. Vertical offset is here. It is such a large thing. Okay. Comparing to this, it's a very big thing. Okay. Yes, Dr. Thar, you, you feel it is third case, right? Very good. So next thing is Dr. Gundip Singh. Next thing, now in this scenario, hip center here and here. What is happening here? Which scenario it is? One, two, three, again. A kind of equal, but equal, equal scenario I didn't give at all. It cannot be equal. It cannot be equal. See, understand which type of hip, hip it is. When you find this scenario, what type of hip it is? We call it as a coxa valga, right? Right? So if this is coxa valga, what is this hip? What is this hip is? The greater trochanter is above the hips, hip center. It is your opposite of varus, valgus is vara. Right? Remember, coxa vara is always a kind of first scenario. That is, horizontal offset is, sorry, second scenario. Second scenario is, horizontal offset is more than vertical offset. Right? Horizontal offset is more than vertical offset. Okay? But if I say, both the patients x-rays are same taken in different view this is an inlet view this is an outlet view right considering this x-ray okay can you get this x-ray can you get this x-ray in which scenario will get this x-ray inlet view You, you are not deliberately ordered the patient to get an or your uh, uh, exit degradation to get an inlet view, but you tend to get this inlet view, right? Yes, it is. It's in fixed flexion deformities. Okay, when there is a fixed flexion deformity, you tend to get this inlet view. That's why clinical examination is very important. Okay, and when in which scenario do you do you get this this kind of Outlet views. Any conditions you can think of? Okay, especially in case of ankylosing spondylitis, when spine pathology is there, right? Yes, spine pathology. Whenever there's a spine pathology with fused spine and fused SI joint, you tend to get this outlet view. Okay, so even though sometimes, even though the patients hip is normal because of the uh, misinterpretation of the x-ray which is because of the secondary pathology of the hip joint you are getting an inlet outlet view and which in turn will lead to uh, different angles okay that's why whenever you get a true whenever you get a proper x-rays you are supposed to see whether it's a true ap view or not how will you see it's a true ap view both the iliac wing should be equal equal in width okay it should be at equal height both the si joint your sacrum si joint should be equal in length okay your obturator foramen has to be equal seen equal okay the coccyx and the symphysis pubis dip should be at least four centimeter not less than two centimeters not less than six centimeters it has to be around four centimeters Okay, this way this varies upon patient to patient, height of the patient and 
where you take the shoot of the uh, uh, X-ray. Okay, so when you see all these things are there, then you assess the what is the neck shaft angle. Okay, with, the, with this we get a proper AP view and we able to assess the offset. Okay, why we are discussing offsets? First one thing we thought of stability. Okay, that's foremost important that we require on table. Second thing, second thing is, as Dr. Kul, uh, Kuldeep has mentioned me, it's about reduction of joint reaction force. Why reduction of joint reaction force is important for me? Anyone? Why reduction of joint reaction force is important? Uh, to reduce the wear. Yes, especially to reduce the wear. Okay, so reduce the wear. Reduce the wear in the sense. In 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 the in the in the in the sense that whatever the insert we are putting, we don't want excess pressure on that. Okay, if we don't want excess pressure, that excess pressure, what happens will produce a wear debris. This will cause inflammation and loosening lysis, whatever it is, and will ultimately lead to the longevity of the implant. As Dr. Dipen mentioned, it's about the longevity of the implant. That process will not stay. The one thing which we are worried about any orthoplasty procedure is the longevity. We think of only the longevity, how long the tra track record is. So remember, whenever a, a company guy or rep is coming and giving a newer implant, the first question you should think of any orthoplasty perspective is, what is the long term results of this processes, right? So that's very important. They may appear very well in 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 theory, in uh, by look wise, the feel wise, but how it behaves in the body that is completely different. So longevity of the implants precedes first criteria then rest all things okay so fine so how do you how do you do this uh, to reduce a G, joint reaction force how how to how to decrease the joint reaction force one is decrease the weight of the patient okay that's in the patient's hand next yes good good basically how to reduce the wear Wear of the, we, if, if we reduce the joint action force, we reduce the wear, right? So one is medialization of the cup. That means what? That means what? The distance is A equal to B. Two times A is equal to B. We know that by with the biomechanics of hip, it is two times of A is equal to B. So what we do? We medialize. Yes, we medialize the hip center by medializing the acetabulum cup how far middle you can go how far middle you can go up to the floor of the acetabulum right up to the floor of the acetabulum so there is not further more limit is not available okay consider if this is the uh, hip okay this is the body liver arm and this is the abductor liver arm I can go hardly three or four millimeters and I'll achieve this much length extra. But this at this position A may not be equal to B. Some portion is achieved. Second thing is, so what, what is the other option we have? We take this little outside. Okay, that is what lateralizing the GT. Okay, so that once we make it, that means this equation becomes equal. So lateralizing the GT, medializing the uh, uh cup okay and what is the main purpose to reduce the wear so what we'll do we put a small head small head is 22.225 that's what channel is low frictional orthoplasty principle is this is the rationale of having a channel is low frictional orthoplasty right so what had happened over a period of time is getting this trochanter and reattaching to the trochanter is causing a lot of abductor lurch, abductor weakness and non-union if you are not done properly. Okay, this part they have omitted. Second thing is, using a small head, we know the jump distance is less. Okay, 
so once the jump distance is less the chance of dislocations are high so instead of this they are more to the new new small head that is about 32 millimeters okay this is considered to be the best size head to have a stable hip with less wear okay 36 head 40 head they are also good but the chance of the bigger the head size the more contact area the more contact area the wear will be more what wear it is it is volumetric wear okay so volumetric wear so all these things will lead to your wear particle okay there are a few questions let me start answering it in case if you don't get a proper away because of the pathologist can't we calculate the offset sir yes we can calculate the offset dr rakesh see there is on table calculation and you can modify your view okay you can get a proper x-rays you can modify take the patient to the edge of the table keep the foot down so that your FFDs can be eliminated and you can get get the x-ray okay for example if you are having an ffd of hip like this okay so instead of taking your shoot your x-ray shoot like this you take an extra shoot more often inlet view cut for this how much angle you are thinking for example 20 degree you keep your x-ray between 20 degrees you still get an ap view okay fine so there is one more question sir the stem will be lateralized now so not the gt no 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 if you lateralize the stem the attachment the abductors attachment this is abductor liver arm starts from the hip center to the abductor attachment not to the stem right so we calculate this abductor abductor liver arm okay this is abductor liver arm and the body liver arm okay abductor liver arm abductor liver arm whatever it is it is where your greater tuberosity i mean abductor is attached to the greater trochanter if you place a stem your greater trochanter is not at uh, abductor is not attached to the stem right so this will not lateralization of the stem doesn't mean that you're lateralizing the gt right so that's very important okay good good question good doubt but remember it is about the attachment okay so that's why we think of it okay so uh, now we know this why we need to medialize the cup and why we need to lateralize the gt okay